Meanwhile, Governor Brian Kemp and the First Lady were chopping it up in Macon. We, we talked about that uh, mm -hmm. earlier in the broadcast, but also we know that Jeff, Jeff Hollinger, mm -hmm. was chopping things up as well. Yeah, he interviewed uh, NBC's Chuck Todd, so we wanted to uh, show you a little bit of that conversation. When we were together last in January, we were talking about what the political season was going to look like. We now see it. Right. It has taken shape. And let's begin with uh, Warnock and Walker. I think everybody kind of agrees Warnock's up a couple of points on Walker. We can debate whether it's three, five, whatever. Let me ask you this. If Kelly Leffler were the nominee right now against Warnock, would we be in the same place? Or would Leffler be slightly ahead? That's the, I, I don't know the answer to that question, but I'm curious to see, is Walker just getting generic Republican vote? or is he underperforming the Republican vote? Do you think Democrats have made a mistake going after the character of Walker? It's a very easy cherry pick. Generationally, two of the most exalted positions in Southern life are preacher and football star. Yeah. And we a, have both of those. It's an interesting way of putting it together. <laughs> and, yeah. and we have Herschel Walker, who is like Frank Sinatra in this sense. You may never have met him, but he's been part of your family for over 40 years. He is a beloved figure in the state, whether you like him or not politically. I think it's an ad I saw last week still still airing, uh, where Warnock has this has three Georgia Bulldog fans, <laughs> and and it and it's an older gentleman who says I love Herschel Walker on my wall, but I don't want him in the Senate. So it was an interesting. Clearly, you're, what you're bringing up is something they're seeing in the polls that, hey, these people like Walker and also don't think he's qualified to be in the Senate. So can you find a way to say, give him a permission slip? I don't know. You're not telling you you have to take number 34 off your wall. <laughs> We're just telling you you don't want him in the United States Senate. Some good questions and topics there. And coming up at 6, we'll have more on Jeff's conversation with Chuck Todd. We'll also post the full interview this evening on all of our digital platforms.